Rosie Corner Crochet. I'm back. It's been quite a while, almost two years, but I decided that it was time to get back into it. So um, I had a hair appointment this morning and I thought, what better time to start back than after I just got my hair done and it looks all nice and ready to go. So here I am. I have some things I want to share with you today. Um, first thing I want to share with you is just a purchase that I made. Um, I went to Joann's. I've been there twice in the last week. But I went yesterday for a specific purpose, and I'll share that with you a little bit later. But whenever I was there the first time, which wasn't yesterday, it was a few days before that, um, my daughter and I went together, and we noticed that they had some masks on sale. Buy one and get three free. So you got four masks for $6.99. And never in a million years did I think this was going to be something exciting that we have to wear a mask, but these were really cute. So I thought I'd share them with you. Um, these are two of the ones that she purchased. Um, this first one says spread love, not germs, which I thought was really cute. And the second one is kind of goes along with my outfit today. A uh, little leopard print. And um, she also bought a gray one and another one that looks like one that I bought. So I wasn't going to show you that, but then I bought, this yesterday I didn't get some whenever the first time we went but then I was kind of jealous so the next time I went back I bought some but I bought this um yesterday and this is a just a plain gray one then I bought this one which I thought was really funny and it says I'm actually smiling because <laughs> wearing a mask I smile at people all the time and I think they don't know I'm smiling <laughs> But I mean, I guess you can tell when people are smiling because you can see it in their eyes. But anyways, that one says I'm actually smiling. So that was kind of cool. And then this one, this is the one that she bought as well. It says be kind and has flowers on it. I thought it was really pretty. Um, she liked that one. And then I picked this one up for her. She has to wear them at work every day. So she needs quite a few of them. But this one says positive vibes and it's a little tie dyed. She really liked that one. So yeah, those are the masks I picked up. And again, they were buy one get three free so they were four for $6.99 which I thought was a pretty good deal so the other thing that I purchased at Joanne I'm going to show you because I'm really excited I decided um, I was on Pinterest the other day and that's a dangerous thing for me but anyways I decided that I'm going to do the crochet along with Moogly blog for the 2021 Afghan and I know I started the temperature blanket two years back. I'm still working on that. Um, it was a, quite an ambitious project and I just got tired of making all the squares. You had to make a square for every single day and it got to be a little much so I kind of put it to the side. I have all the temperatures written down so I can go back to it at any time and occasionally I go back and I make a few squares and then I add them and then I put it away for a while so it's still a work in progress um hopefully i'll get that finished before long but anyways this this cow i thought was a little more reasonable because they send you they release a pattern for one square every two weeks and it starts on january 7th and um now the squares are bigger they're 12 by 12 squares and they they seem to be have some more complicated patterns and things but you have two weeks to make that so i thought well that's something that i think that i could probably keep up with because i don't have a whole lot of other projects going i'm not i don't i don't know i don't like to be have too many whips going because then i never finish anything but um so i purchased the yarn to um do this project so the biggest thing for me was choosing a, a color palette for this afghan because i don't know what the squares are going to look like you, you don't know until they release them so it was kind of hard for me to decide to commit basically to one color pattern so before i did that i thought about my living room because this is where i want to put the afghan and i crocheted this summer um this pillow that is um Right now it's in need of washing. So my dogs come in and they lay on it. Um, but this pillow is from Bella Coco and it is called Summer Breeze. And when she did it, she did it in different purples. Um, so I think this is like in her pattern, these are different colors of purple. But I 
my living room has a lot of gray and I have gray curtains and gray rugs and things like that. So I wanted to start adding pops of color with this yellow color. I love this mustard yellow color. So I decided to make my pillow in these colors. This yarn is the um, paint box cotton yarn. It's a, it's Erin, so it's a four weight. Um, <clears throat> this pattern was complicated. I'd never done anything like that before. This is like the tapestry crochet where you carry your color through. And um, so it was kind of a challenge for me. I did a, a little bit of frogging in the beginning. Then when I got the hang of it, I was able to finish it with not too much problem. Um, so this was kind of the inspiration for my color palette for this afghan that I'm going to do. So yesterday I went and picked up the yarn for that. So I just want to show you what I got and the colorways that I got and how much it was because it was a really good price. So I went to Joann's and I purchased the Big Twist yarn. Okay, the Big Twist yarn is a four weight. Um, I softness wise, it feels like Red Heart um, with love. So it's a little, it's softer than a Red Heart Super Saver. Um, but it looks like it's 100% acrylic. It looks like something that's going to, um, you're, you can machine wash it. Um, you have to dry it flat, but it looks like something that's gonna be something that will hold up well. So I bought this pale yellow, and that's the colorway is called pale yellow, I believe. Yeah, pale, pale yellow. And then I purchased this one, and this one is called Varsity Gold. So I've got these two yellows. And then I thought I wanted to add just a little bit of a contrasting color in there so everything's not just gray and yellow. So I bought this worsted dark denim is this colorway. So you've got the blue. And then um, to tie it all together, I got the gray and this is called medium gray. And I'm thinking that I bought three of these skeins and you know, I can buy more if I need it. I think I might need another one, but I'm going to do the border, I think. I'm gonna join the squares and do the border with this gray, which is why I bought a little bit more of that. And then I, one other color, they didn't have at my Joanne, so I had to order it, but it's a cream color. Now this is, um, this is Red Heart Super Saver here. I just pulled this out to, to show the colorways. So this is going to be, all of the colors in my blanket. So this is my color palette. Um, well that blue's turning out a little bit darker than it is in, per in person, but um, I'm hoping that everything looks good with it whenever I do these squares. It's gonna be interesting because I've never done anything like this where I had to like plan as I go. Um, I'm one of those people like I follow the pattern and I look at the colors that they give and I usually do those colors, but I branched out with this one and it worked out really well. I really love this pillow. Um, so that's what I bought at Joanne yesterday. And I picked up one of their little bags. I love these bags. They make great project bags. So I'm just keeping all of the yarn for the crochet along in this little bag. Um, so if you guys are interested in, in doing the crochet along too, you can go to um, mooglyblog.com. You can go to, there's a, a Facebook page. Um, it's called Moogly, Moogly Cow. Um, let me see, is it called Moogly Cow? Give me one second. I think it's, hmm. Moogly Afghan Cow is what it's called. And um, you have to sign up for it and it's like, you have to be invited to join the group. So you sign up for the group and then um, you have to answer a couple questions and then they, they invite you to join. And then all the information is there about where to find the patterns whenever they're released and everything. So I'm really excited about trying that and I think it's gonna be something that's really cool. Um, something that I can hopefully keep up with. Um, I'm going to pause the video for one second because there's one thing I want to show you that I forgot to bring to my table. 
Okay, this video is gonna be a hot mess. Um, so I forgot to tell you that the Big Twist yarn, my dog found her toy. The Big Twist yarn at Joanne was on sale for $1.99 a skein. And I also had a 20% off teacher appreciation coupon. So I had 20% off my entire purchase. So I got 20% off of that yet. Another thing I bought at Joanne's was this cute little, it's called a desktop spinner. Um, it has a little like Lazy Susan on the bottom that spins and it has four compartments and all these little pockets along the side. And I thought this would be perfect because on my end table is where I usually set all of my crochet hooks because I sit on the couch and I crochet there. So, um, yeah, I bought this to put all of my notions in and all of my crochet hooks. So right now I have all of my, my clover hooks are in here. Um, I have my little scissors in here. Um, I have some stitch markers. I have my reading glasses, um, a tape measure. Um, I have, you're gonna laugh at this. This is my, um, my darning needle or my yarn needle container. It's a tic-tac container. Recycle, right? So I like to put all those in there because if I don't, I lose them. And um, I couldn't find one that I liked and I thought, well, for now I'm just gonna use that. And I've been using it for over a year. So that's my little spinny organizer. Um, it was originally $24.99. It was 50% off because Joanne's having a huge storage sale. Now I went online and I looked for it because I was just gonna order it and have it shipped to me, but um, it wasn't on sale online. So whenever I went in the store, I got 50% off plus an additional 20 for that teacher's appreciation coupon. So it ended up being, actually I think it was 40% off and then I got the 20% off for the teacher appreciation coupon. So it ended up being $12.49. Um, so I got that. Um, now a couple things that I've done um, since I've seen you last, I've done quite a bit, but I don't have it all here with me. Um, one thing that I did that I was really proud of, um, my daughter sent me a, a message on Facebook one night that had this little pattern in it. And um, if you've watched my channel before, you know that Ama Gurumi and I have a love-hate relationship. Um, we don't get along. <laughs> but anyways, this project was on Ama Gurumi and I made it and I was actually happy with it. It didn't turn out bad like my other ones have but this is my little it's called snowbird and he's just a little bird and I love his little hat with his little tassel on the top and um he was made all his body and his head is all one piece the hat was separate the wings were separate the tail was separate and then this little nose was separate and these are safety eyes that I attached and his little legs were separate and you attach those later but um yeah, he wasn't hard to make and um, I think he turned out really cute. The pattern for this is a free pattern. It's on, and I'll link the pattern in the description box. Hopefully I remember to do that. Um, it's on a website called, let me see what that website's called. It's on a website called Elisa's Crochet, E-L-I-S-A apostrophe S, Elisa's Crochet crochet now there's no apostrophe in the website but it's e-l-i-s-a-s crochet.com and it's a free pattern and it was very easy to follow um this is what it looks like i don't know if you can see that or not very cute um so yeah i made that for her um i have a friend who just became a grandma yesterday nice little new year's baby and over the summer i crocheted a few things for the baby i made um a star blanket um she's really into to disney and um when they did the gender reveal party they found out that it was a boy so they were calling him simba so i crocheted this little um simba hat looks like Simba the lion and a little diaper cover with a Simba tail. Very cute. Um, and I also crocheted just another uh, little baby hat and blanket for her. 
Um, it's more like a car seat blanket because it was real small. Um, I'm looking, I'm sorry, I'm looking to see if I have pictures of those that I can show you. I was just not ready for this video today, huh? Oh, well, what are you going to do? You're going to get bored and shut it off. That's what you're going to do. Okay, so this is a picture of the little Simba outfit that I crocheted for her. You see the little tail on the diaper cover there. This is a picture of the um, star blanket that I crocheted for her. And at that point, we didn't know if she was having a boy or a girl. And her favorite color is yellow. So I thought that was appropriate. She liked it. Um, so yeah, that's another thing that I did. Um, just recently, I crocheted another Era Genius shawl for my mom for her birthday. Um, I used a mandala cake for that. And, um, hold on, let me see. <laughs> I told you, I wasn't ready to come back, apparently. So this is the mandala cake that I used to crochet that Aragenia shawl. It turned out really, really pretty. They're beautiful, like, fall, fallish colors. Um, I know it's not fall anymore, but I figured she could use this to sit out on her patio in the fall or even in the summer. Um, and... The colorway in this is called Groot, and it just has some really pretty, like, jewel tones in there. Um, really liked it. She really liked it. So I've already given that to her, so I don't have it to show you, but it's the Aragenia shawl, and I did one for myself. Um, it's been almost two years now, <laughs> um, and I, that's my last video. I think I was showing you the, the finished shawl that I did for myself, and I did that with a mandala ombre cake. So if you want to see what that shawl looks like, and I linked the pattern back in that video. Um, that's something you can find there. And the last thing that I wanna show you is the newest project that I'm working on. This is my new whip. Um, this is a sweater. Well, it's going to be a sweater, it's not yet. This is going to be a sweater. It's called the Follow You Sweater. It's by Kay's Creations. And she is on, um, you can find this pattern on Etsy or on Ravelry. Um, if you look on Pinterest, I think if you type in follow you sweater, it will come up. Uh, but this is a Tunisian crochet sweater and I've never done a Tunisian crochet project other than like a dishcloth. Mainly because I didn't have the Tunisian crochet hooks. I just had one like Afghan hook and it's, it's a 5.5 and it's aluminum so I wasn't really fond of it. But I practiced with it for a little bit and then I ordered... Um, one to make this sweater with now this is the this is what I have done so far um, so this is about half of the front panel of the sweater and I don't know if you can see it or not but it's got all these sparkly flecks in it like blues and pinks and it's really really pretty um, and I really love the way this stitch is turning out because it looks like a knitted sweater but it is crochet and this crochet hook this is a I'm going to pull it out just a little bit here. This is a Chai Gu. Um, it's a K, 6.5 millimeter hook. I got this from Amazon. And it's got the um, plastic cording on the end of it. And on the very end, so that your stitches don't fall off, it's got a wooden bead attached. Um, one thing I will say about this hook, when I first got it, this part right here, it it turns so that the plastic doesn't really get in your way and doesn't get tangled on things. But when I first got it, it made a horrible squeaking sound. So what I did was took just a little bit of vegetable oil on my fingers and I um, just like fooled with it a little bit and then cleaned it off and it seemed to take care of the squeaking so it doesn't squeak anymore. But this, the cable is really kind of stiff. Um, I'm not real fond of it, but I think after using it for a while, it will probably loosen up a little bit, but it's always like, I don't know, it just gets in my way. But, um, so Tunisian crochet is kind of different because you leave, like I've done here, this is my, my row that I'm working on right now. You leave all of your stitches on the hook, and then as you work your, your return pass, you take those stitches off, and that's what creates this look. This is the Tunisian knit stitch, so it does look like knitting. Now, 
you, you have to excuse the sides here because this is my first Tunisian knit project and it's not, it's not perfect. My tension isn't quite right yet. Um, but this is for me, so I figured no big deal. And then at the bottom here, it kind of comes out like this a little bit because I was, when I first started, as I was coming across, I was doing a chain one and the pattern didn't call for a chain one. I'm not sure. I, that's just something that I'm used to doing a chain one, turn your work and go. Well, I was doing a chain one there and I don't think I should have. So up here, I started to eliminate that chain one. I probably should have ripped that out, but I figure whenever you stitch the, the sweater together, um, you're not going to really even see that. I hope. <laughs> anyway, so this is, this is my follow you sweater. And the yarn that I'm using is shawl and a cake. Um, now this yarn says it's a four weight yarn, but I would say that this is more like, I don't know if you've ever worked with shawl, shawl and a ball or shawl and a cake. It's, they call it a four weight yarn because it's meant to do like loose, really loose stitches. Um, so they want you to use a hook that you would use for like a four weight yarn, but um, make your stitches loose. Um, this pattern called for a three weight yarn. So I figured uh, this is probably going to be sufficient. So I hope that it turns out well. I have four cakes of this yarn, um, which according to the pattern, I'm shy about six yards. So I'm probably gonna have to buy another cake of this, but it's available, so I'm not worried about it. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my sweater. Um, I kind of like the, the way it's striping. It's kind of neat. And I like the sparkly factor. So I can't wait to see if I get it finished. I'm coming up on a part that's going to be kind of difficult. There's some decreases in there, and I'm just not sure how you do that with the Tunisian crochet. So I have to look into that a little bit, and hopefully I figure it out. But um, once I make that, um, I'm going to be working on this cow, and my daughter wants one of these sweaters as well. So I purchased a blue yarn for her from Joann's when we were there the other day. I'm, I'm gonna go get that, hold on. <laughs> okay, so this is called um, Knit and Crochet Smooth. Um, this is 100% premium micro acrylic. Um, on this skein is 213 yards and it's a three weight. Um, and this colorway is blue. So um, both of us really like that color. It's showing up a lot more blue on there than it really is. Um, this is more, this is about what it, what it is in real life. So this is, it was on clearance. Um, it was 247 marked 247 and then it was another 25% off of that. And then another 20% off from my teacher appreciation coupon. So we got this for, I think it was like a dollar 80 a skein, which is great price for that. So I have like, I bought 11 of those. Um, and I plan to make her sweater with this. Um, so mine's kind of a practice one and then I'll do hers after that. And once I do that, the only other thing I've got going on is this crochet along Afghan. And, um, I do want to get back to that temperature blanket and get it finished because that's a thorn in my side. It's one of those things where I know I got to do it, but, um, I just got bored with it. Um, so hopefully... I can get back in and do that and get that finished. But yeah, that's about all I have for today. It was great to see you guys again. Um, I hope you're all still out there. <laughs> um, I've been watching a lot more YouTube lately and um, just made me wanna jump on here again and say hi to everybody. So I hope you're all doing well and everything is going well for all of you. Hopefully 2021 is a better year for all of us. So we'll see. Um, that's all I have for today, so keep stitching and stay cozy. Bye.